welcome back to Real Real Reviews. This is Cody Williams, and we're here to talk about the movie Evil Dead Rise. It is the newest addition to the beloved Evil Dead series, despite the fact it's a standalone film and having no ties to the other movies other than the Necronomicon and Deadites. I originally thought it was going to be a sequel to the 2013 reboot, but apparently it is not. Ever since the grand reception of the reboot, I've been eagerly awaiting for another Evil Dead movie. Lo and behold, it's finally here. I've watched it, and I'm ready to talk about it. The movie story follows a twisted tale of two estranged sisters, whose reunion is cut short by the rise of flesh-possessing demons, thrusting them into a primal battle for survival as they face the most nightmarish version of family imaginable. If three words could perfectly summarize this movie, it would have to be terrifying, vile, and wicked. I've seen some pretty crazy horror movies in my time, but this movie in particular was an absolute haunting, ethereal experience. I do have one nitpick about this movie, but of course I'll talk about that later. For now, I want to talk about what the movie is tremendous at, which all includes some top-notch looking practical special effects, unique cinematography, the amazing acting, and also some perfect utilization of tension. First things first, clearly the best thing about this movie are the mostly practical special effects for the very graphic gore and the makeup involved. It's some of the best special effects you could ever ask for out of the movie out of this nature. I won't get into all the juicy details, but some of the stuff that happens in this movie is downright disgusting. There is truly an insane amount of blood in this movie. It's ridiculous. I mean, it wouldn't be an Evil Dead movie if it didn't. So there is that. Being a horror movie, surprisingly there are no actual so-called jump scares when being compared to your average run-of-the-mill horror flick. This movie, however, perfectly utilizes hair-raising tension and suspense to keep you on the edge of your seat constantly throughout. One of the biggest standouts out of this movie would definitely have to be the acting from everyone. I really enjoyed Lily Sullivan as the main lead actress, don't get me wrong, but I was completely enthralled by Alyssa Sutherland's performance. When she transforms into her possessed deadite form, she steals the show and will get under your skin. For an Evil Dead movie, I have to say that it has some Really cool looking cinematography. One noteworthy part is when the camera is focused in on through the apartment's peephole and definitely makes for an interesting looking scene. The good looking cinematography is not limited to only that scene in particular because we do get some great camera work throughout the whole movie really. Ever since seeing the original Evil Dead movie for the first time, I have come to fall in love with the series along the way, including its sequels. Even after watching this new film, it's really hard to rank all the Evil Dead movies because I think they're all just great. Though the original Evil Dead started off as a low budget indie horror flick, I loved it for what it was because it helped pave the way for horror movies. I thought Evil Dead 2 was great as it was bigger and better with a larger budget. Now, I also thoroughly enjoyed Army of Darkness. When the Evil Dead 2013 reboot came around, it really subverted my expectations and I found it highly enjoyable. I do think that this new movie is shockingly great and all, but it is a little tamer when compared to the 2013 film. Don't get me wrong, because there are still some parts in this new movie that will make you squirm regardless. I do have one nitpick with this movie. And of course, it's that the cabin in the woods scene feels like an afterthought. I don't know, but I think it felt too much out of place with the rest of the movie. And it could have done without it. Other than that, this is one fantastic horror movie. Overall, Evil Dead Rise is quintessentially a bloody fun horror flick that captures all the best aspects of the series while maintaining its own footing from its preceding films. Whether you're a fan of old or simply a newcomer, it's pretty much guaranteed that everyone will have a thrilling, unforgettable experience. Even though the movie may not be entirely perfect,
but I will say that it's pretty close to it. I give this movie an A. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to keep up with my real reviews.